everyone, it's Elizabeth here. So I am on my day 14. I am leaving, um, I've already left Padron. I'm actually here in Uria Flavia, which is an old Roman, um, I guess the settlement back in the first AD and um, this church was created later on, I think in the 18th century. I'd have to reread the history of it, but um, this is it. This is day 14, um, technically day 12 of walking, but day 14 on my journey. I am now one kilometer <clears throat> north of Padron and I have about 25 more to go. Um, Ah, my emotions are all over the place. It's like I'm really happy and then I'm really sad because all of this is bittersweet. This sweet, sweet journey has to come to an end and obviously <laughs> I have no choice. Um, but, you know, it's like I had dreams before even leaving. I had dreams about writing a book about this and I kind of want to. It's just interesting. Um, how the reasons why I came have no significance to um, the feelings and emotions I have leaving this place. And I think, let me hold on a second here. Let's see. Uh, um, and so. I don't know. It's just crazy. I We'll see how it goes when I go to Santiago. I know I definitely want to do some walking alone today because walking for me is like that meditation and motion and uh, the final process of of what I don't know what has happened. The only thing I, I regret, I regret not going to Israel after this. I think that would have been a spectacular, pretty amazing journey to do the Camino, um, you know, in light of Santiago. The Portuguese way is, is the second popular way, so most people do the French way, which is the original way. Um, but, you know, St. James, like his body just passed through. Um, Uria Flavia and so there is a lot of historical significance in this part of Galicia and luckily the rain has held off but it's kind of funny walking through this mist. Um, supposedly the rain is coming this afternoon. Last night it showed rain in the morning and then um, dryness in the afternoon but I don't know this is um, it's kind of crazy and I regret not going to Israel, but maybe one day I'll go. And this definitely has been a journey in itself. Just seeing everything that you've overcome and accomplished, not only in life, but like the amount of pain that I was in and the suffering that you do with this bag. Um, I am definitely stronger now than I was 14 days ago <laughs> by carrying this bag. But yeah. Life is a journey, you know? I guess it goes back to that old adage of it's not just a destination, but a journey. And these little pink roses, you know, remind me of my great-grandmother who was a hardcore Eastern Orthodox Catholic, but I'm sure I will send more along the way. I'm gonna take some photos, bye.